Last week on Sailing Adrift, we put the soap test to our fuel tanks to inspect for any possible leaks. All right, kill it. I don't think we have any engine leaks. That's good. Or fuel tank leaks. That's, that's great news. After that debacle, we built the fuel polishing system one pump at a time. Speaking of pumps, guess what we're up to this week? That's right, a good old fashioned fill and pump test. What is this thing? This thing is a gallon flow meter. Put it on here, and hopefully we're gonna calibrate it because we want to see how many gallons our water tank holds. Yeah, the test before the test. Well, well the test, test one of several tests, really. You wanna go fire it up? Yeah, I'm gonna fire it up. How much was that little contraption? Just 20 curious. Bucks. Twenty bucks? How much do you expect it to be? I don't know, like ten. Oh, outrageous. Ready? Yep. Okay. One gallon. Over halfway. Keep going. Keep going. Four gallons. Four and a half. 4.8. Kill it. That's higher. <laughs> You're now shooting more water. <laughs> Nailed it. There you go. Lefty Lucy ready tidy is tough. All right, so it says 5.4 gallons and a five gallon bucket. How big are they? I think it's five gallons to the lip, isn't it? The lip of what? The, the lip is the top of the bucket. Okay, mister. I'm just saying, like, what lip are you talking about? The, the outer lip here. Okay, well, what do we know that's like exactly a thing? Like what, what do we have that's graduated? 5.4 gallons. One gallon. More left over, so within 10% margin of error. Five. Now here's where things get tricky, because what's 0.4 of a gallon? Should be almost the two quart mark. Fairly accurate, but I would say that's probably it's less than one quart. So it's more like 5.25 total gallons of water. Okay, so now the tricky part. See that? The boat? See how there's a big plastic nose? Watch it there. You're knocking things over. All right, so you see up there? Yeah. There's a big plastic thing. So I'm gonna have to crawl under it to get the hose in there. And you're gonna have to hit it. We're gonna have to start filling up. I wanna test the fill to see if it leaks. Don't you? As we fill up the tank, we realize this could take a while. Yeah, let's go check on it. Make sure it's not leaking anymore. Okay. Uh oh. No. There's definitely water down here. There was some overflowing going in the beginning, so. Oh, okay. And if water leaks into the bilge wall, it's filling it up. It's not the end of the world. Okay. Oh. What? I think we're filling up the other tank. <laughs> Whoops. Yep, just as suspected, wrong tank. 
Powering down now. Okay, let's try this again. Alright, go ahead. Okay. It's on! How are we doing? It's going. It was at five gallons. Okay. Let's go check on the inside. Pure clean water with one floaty in it. What's the floaty? I don't know. Little float is floating up. That's good. Our baffling is working. The uh, chain locker is bone dry, so that's good. Good. I don't know how full we are, but it seems full. Like it's like height wise, almost to half. But obviously it's shaped like this. So there's gonna be a lot more water at the top than the bottom. So. Yeah, cool. So we just wait till a certain point and then. Yeah, why don't you keep your eye on this. What's cool about the Albacombi that we're gonna use is it has a, uh, you hook all these tank sensors up to it and it puts it on the NEMA network. And then you can review it on your phone or tablet while you're out there filling it up and watch it like, you know, fill up the tank. And once it hits full, call it good. Yeah. Or if we really need to make sure it's super full, the vent for it lives in here, and as soon as that starts spewing water, then you really probably should turn it off. Good to know. <laughs> yeah. The flow rate is going flat out. We're, and we are seeing no hiccups or problems with the uh, system. So as long as we're filling with this type of hose, the uh, fill system should be adequate to handle the volume. So that is good. We're almost to 40 gallons. I'm not quite sure what that represents as a whole, but that's what we're doing to find out. That's why we're doing this. 10 gallon coming out. Okay. Boy, am I glad this isn't my job. That's a nice shimmy. Do you have any guesses on how big the tank is? Oh, that's a good game. Should we go look at it right now? It's probably about 42 gallons. Wow, we're getting pretty full. I'm gonna say 80 gallons. What are you gonna say? I'm gonna say 100. That's probably a better guess. I mean, there is a lot of space up there, but we're at least three quarters of the way up from the bottom. It's just so skinny down at the bottom. You should put that cover over it. I feel like when we're walking up, stuff's falling from the ceiling and getting in there. How are we going to know when it's full, dear? We check it, periodically. Oh. Uh -oh. oh, yeah. Yeah. What? I forgot I put a fill line that I needed to block. That throws off our estimations. So where's the excess water going? It's for the water maker to tie into, but there's nothing tied into it yet. So it's just going into the bilge? Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess we should suck out the bilge into a bucket and see how full it gets. Oh yeah, that would just be the remainder. Would you go in the basement? Do you know where those red plugs are? I do. Do you know exactly where they are? I'm pretty sure. Okay, be right back. Now I gotta sit here until Kelly can get back with a plug. What? Why did you turn the water off? You didn't tell me to. Okay. Did you find it? Yeah. Here. It feels like it's getting cold. Okay. I'm gonna look at the bill just to see how bad that is. Okay. Not an appreciable amount. You can test the bilge pump. You could. Let's wire it up. Alright, it would be easier to do. Right there. Those two wires up. Alright, well, let's go get that thing. Might as well. Okay. Well, let's finish the water test first and then we'll do it when it's all done. Fine, one thing at a time. Yep. How about that? Okay. Okay. Chris says 80, I say 91. 77.8. You win. I guess. 91 would have been better. Okay, go turn her back on. Okay. 92.4 gallons. Woohoo! What did you guess? I said 100. Oh. What did I guess? 80. No, 80 is what I guessed at that time and it was 78. I thought it was 80. It's 150. 
115. Why would you lie to me? <laughs> All right, Kelly, here's your job. Grab this bucket. You get the important job. This is very important. All my jobs are important. Not true. Come on, move. Got things to do. All right, you see this hole right here? Yeah. Uh, what's that? Get that off my arm. That is where the water is going to come out. The middle one. The middle one. Okay. You catch it. We need to know how much comes out of the bilge to subtract from our 114 gallons. Are you ready? Okay, I'm gonna go up in the boat. We need this. This thing is seriously, with this refit, one of the handiest things we got. Gives you a 10 amp DC power supply to test things. Power this up and get ready. Plug it in, hold the mode down until supply lights up. I don't think holding it like that is a good idea. I'm not gonna hold it until you start. Okay, I'm about ready to start, so. Get in position. Okay, let's see if I can do this one-handed. Got it, that's pretty good. Not bad, Chris. Okay, here it goes. Hope it works. I don't know if it's not in the water or if it can't pull up that high, but it should be able to. It's supposed to do three meters. There's like 10 feet. Are you sure you didn't install a fog horn? Um, I don't think the water's high enough, which leads me to think that we probably should artificially test this thing just to prove that. Because I don't want a bilge pump that's super loud and doesn't work. If it's super I. loud, fine, that's good. It tells us something's going on. But if it doesn't work, problem. All right, so should we just do it with buckets or with a hose, which would be a lot better. Right? Do you want a hose? Yeah, hand me the hose. I unhooked it and everything was annoying, but I think it's smart. I could just run it over here, hand it to you, right? Yeah, but I unhooked it. This is coiled up already. Oh, you coiled it. <sighs> All right, is it all hooked up? Yep. All right, I'll tell you when to fire it up. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna let this thing do its thing. Of course, this negates our subtraction of gallons. From the water fill tank. We're gonna say 110 gallons of fresh water storage. I think that's pretty accurate. Now touching the back float switch. The plan is to wait until that float switch would engage before we turn off the water. That float switch just sounds an alarm. It does not set off this pump. That will be a manual switch. It's floating. It's floating. All the way up. I think that's about engaged. And bloop, it's underwater. Kill it, Kelly! God, should I? Should I do it? Should I? I think I should. Okay, are you ready with your bucket? All right, I'm ready with my bucket. Okay. Here it comes. There's less than five gallons in there, right? Ah! It's like blasting into the post. Did it get you? Yeah, it totally got me. Oh man. That was the big build pump. Well, it was all pretty clean. Here comes a little one. And just so you know, since we artificially added a bunch of water, you don't need to catch it anymore. Thanks. Here we go. I like how it warns you. One thing I will say is the way I have this set up, mm -hmm. they like tease into the, the same line as this. Maybe that's a mistake because I think water's going out of the boat, but also coming back down the other bilge hose. Oh. Um, but 
that shouldn't take it to a trickle. You know, at first it's like shooting a bunch out and it just slowly loses its ability to yeah. fire off water. Why do you have water on your cheek, babe? Somebody got me wet and not in a good way. Kelly, it is time for the scariest and last and last and scariest test of the day. The ultimate test. Yeah. We're going to hook up the uh, pump and see if it can pump water to all our plumbing and then run around and mark down all the leaks that we find before it becomes a real problem. Any guesses on how many leaks? I'm going to be optimistic and say zero leaks. But I think the pump might not pump the water. We'll see. <laughs> what about you? Uh, I was going to say zero, but I'll, I'll say one. We're going to just put power to this pump and see what happens. Okay. The black is connected. Okay. It's time for the red. Go red. Get ready. Ready. Oh. There's water to the pump. Pump is doing things. I can hear it do things. It's pressurizing. It should just stop. Why isn't it stopping? Well, it takes it some time. It's got a lot of plumbing to deal with. It gets to like a certain PSI and then stops. Oh, okay. we well, should really be moving around the boat looking for leaks. Okay. Right there. I don't know if it just needs to be compression fit better or what's the story there. Pure clean water. And then that goes outside, so we're not worried about it, but the bathroom in the back doesn't have its spring connected yet because we have to install the kitchen sink first. Okay. Got a water leak right here. That seems to work. Close that off. This thing's not leaking. That'll be the future faucet in the kitchen. That works. <laughs> oh, look at that flow. That's pretty cool though. Yeah. Like this hip thing. It's just like Mm. Oh, oh, water. Okay, overall, pretty happy with it. The pump works. Um, just a few leaks that I saw. Nothing around here, which is awesome. Good job, little pump. Well, nothing went flawless, but who would have expected that? We've literally built all this stuff and never got the opportunity to test them until now. So I'm not surprised. And uh, got some work to do as evidenced by the trickle sound that you hear in the background. <laughs> hey you, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw and you want to keep following along, become a subscriber. Just hit that subscribe button below. And special thanks to our patron crew. We really appreciate your support. I need this. That was like the first one. Doing that water test made me thirsty. Edit that burp out. It's uncouth. Get ready for the loud boy. Here it comes.